Welcome boys and girls to another exciting Saturday morning on Full Blast Broadcast. Hey, couple questions. Is your name written in heaven? What about your friends? Well, that's a couple things that we're gonna go over today. Something you're gonna learn about along with a new memory verse and a project to go alongside with it. So let's get started. First, get out your Bible. And a notebook. And something to write with. Like a pencil. You can write with a pencil. Or a pen. Or a marker. You can highlight in your Bible whatever you want. That is great. So many things to write with. You can write up your whole write up your notes. Alright, let's get started. Fold your hands, bow your heads. Father God, I pray that each child watching will be open to receive all that you have for them this morning and that they'll learn how to apply what they've heard to their lives and be doers of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have fun. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Miss Lundy, and I am here with the second part of our scripture today. So our scripture, as you know, is 2 Timothy 1.7 in the Revised Standard Bible. So I'm going to read through it for you guys. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. You might be asking, what is timidity? Timidity is lack of courage or confidence, shy, nervous, fear of the unknown, fear of making decisions or mistakes. So maybe, um, maybe you would consider yourself more of a shy person or a quiet person, and maybe you're afraid of what people might think of you if you make a mistake or if you say or do something dumb. Well, fear and faith, if you've been listening to pastor sermons, are opposite things. So you can't be in faith and have fear, or in fear and have faith. So um, we don't need to be afraid of what people think of us, right? I think sometimes that even makes makes us seem a little more silly. But if you just don't care what people think and just be yourself, you can do that. You have God with you. He is always with you. You have nothing to fear. And you are different than anyone else in this world. So don't try to be like other people, right? You have the love of God inside of you that you can share with other people. Alright, so let's do some actions with this. I'm just going to set my paper down here. So, let's do, for God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. Alright guys, maybe those actions can help you learn this first. I'll see you next time. Good morning children. I'm Mr. Lancour, and this is my guitar inside of a laundry hamper and it is a happy Saturday. Today, we're gonna to be singing the song, Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. And if you're a child of God, if Jesus is your Lord, then you can rejoice every single day that your name is written in heaven. And you can rejoice regardless of what's happening around you and regardless of the circumstances. But don't just keep this to yourselves, tell others, because if they receive what Jesus did for them and confess him as Lord, then they can rejoice as well that their names are written in heaven too. All right, look to the laundry hamper for the actions. Just kidding. I'm going to remind you right now how to do the actions. It goes like this. Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Rejoice. And then you'll jump up and say, my name is written, rejoice, my name is written, rejoice, our names are written in heaven, and then you'll spin around like this. All right, let's praise the Lord together. Mr. Glumsky and Miss Emily here for project time. Okay, and today we're 
Miss Emily wrote out our verse for today. So mm -hmm. what does it say? It nice says, and last. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, love, and self-control. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Awesome. So I want you guys to do just, what, just like what she did and see how where it says power. She put in a little explosion and love. She put a heart. I want you guys to do something like that. Kind of get creative. Do uh, do how you guys want to, but make some decorations along with, with the verse, okay? All right, and I think that's all the time mm -hmm. we got for right now. And Oh, and if anything, if any thoughts or anything are trying to get you afraid, make sure to speak this first. Amen? Okay, see you guys. Hey, boys and girls, are we having a blast at Full Blast Broadcast? Well, I have four things for you. Can you go one, two, three, four? All right, now do it again, but faster. One, two, three, four, right? So four things. Number one, our first thing is your name written in heaven. Number one. Well, boys and girls, how do we know if our name is written in heaven? Well, we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. That's how we know our names are written in heaven. So right now, take a moment and tell Jesus that he is your Lord and your Savior and accept what he did on the cross and boom, your name is written in heaven. That's how that works. Okay, number two. Go number two, right? Number two. What do we do when our name is written in heaven? Well, we rejoice, right? Just like we sang with Mr. Lancor, rejoice for your name is written in heaven. So boys and girls, throw a party. That's what the angels are doing when you turn to Jesus, when he is your Lord and Savior. All right, so we got number one, which is is your name written in heaven? Number two, rejoice for your name is written in heaven. Number three, there should be evidence when your name is written in heaven. Everybody shout evidence, right? Evidence. So what that means is our memory verse. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. That's the evidence. You have God's spirit living inside of you because you have power, love, and the sound mind, self-control. That's the evidence. And number four, boys and girls, our last point is tell somebody about it. This evidence should be something that you can share with other people. Be a bold Christian. And you know what? Help other people ensure that their names are written in heaven. Tell your friends about Christ. All right, that is what we have for you today. All right, let's go on to Mrs. Green. Hey guys, it's Miss Green, and I'm here to talk about long suffering and how you can pray for it. You're probably thinking, Miss Green, what is long suffering? That sounds like a really long word. Well, you may have heard about it before. Did you know it's in your Bible? Yeah, it's in Galatians 5.22. And that verse is talking about the fruits of the Spirit. No, we're not talking about apples and oranges. The fruits of the Spirit is when you receive Jesus, His Holy Spirit helps you to live a good and righteous life. And those are the things that come up, like love, joy, peace, long-suffering. And we're going to talk about long-suffering today. But what does that mean? We still don't know what it means. So I looked it up in the dictionary, and that says that long-suffering is having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. So basically, long-suffering is maybe someone's being mean to you or just kind of rude, and long-suffering is when you don't get all angry and mad and just want to hit them. Long-suffering is when you're patient and you stay calm and try to show the love of God to them. So how can you pray for this? Well, first of all, if you're a Christian, you can just thank God right away and say, Thank you for your Holy Spirit helping me to be patient with others. Help me to grow in patience and to show your love to others by being patient. Another verse that you can pray is Ephesians 4.2. You can say, Lord, help me to always be humble and gentle. Help me to be patient with others and show your love to them. Okay? And there are more verses that you can look up and pray for over yourself to be patient. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great Saturday and be patient. I'll see you later. Hey, children. Mr. Lankura back with you here again. And this is my guitar wearing a boot. Do you remember that song that we learned earlier? Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Let's praise the Lord again with that song.
Let's hear you, children. Rejoice, my name is Rin. Rejoice, my name is Rin. Rejoice, my names are written in heaven. All right. I know you can do it a little bit louder. Let's try it one more time. Saturday. Well, hello! Wow, what a powerful time we just spent in God's Word. And what great news that if Jesus is our Lord, we can rejoice that our names are written in heaven. But it doesn't stop there. If Jesus is our Lord, we've been given a job to do, and that's to tell others about the gift that God gave in Jesus, His Son, that if they put their faith in what He did and confess Him as Lord, then they can rejoice as well because their names will be written in heaven too. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this wonderful time that we've spent in your word. Help us to not be hearers only, but to be doers of that word, to tell others the wonderful gift that you've given us in Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, children, have a blessed week, and we'll see you next Saturday on Full Blast Broadcast.